guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am the makeup traveler if you're oldie but goodie i thank you guys for coming back for yet another video so in today's video we're actually gonna do something a little bit different i've been hearing a lot of good things about the black girl tag and i figured hey why not give it a shot they were asking some good questions so i was like hey why not give it a shot let's let's do it so we just gonna jump right into the video all right so the first question is what is my favorite edge control as of right now what gets my edges slicked down to perfection well to my perfection is my eco style black seed and um no flax seed and black castor oil gel and also my cream of nature argan oil perfect edges this by itself is a no bueno it doesn't work but when you combine it with this it has some baby hers slick to perfection slick down so these two together are my all-time favorite edge control products um name four hood slash black movies i love to watch okay so right out the gate menace to society that's my favorite like that's my favorite my favorite movie of all time Menace to Society, um, Belly, I love Belly. I don't too much care for uh, Belly too. It was trash, but um, Belly, um, let's see which one. What else? American Gangster. I love American Gangster. That's a good movie too. What's the last one? What can I use? What can I think about for the last one? Um, I think my last one would have to be. It would have to be Juice, just for the simple fact that I love Tupac. He is gorgeous to me. So, those are my four. <laughs> those are my four. What black celebrity do I love? Michael B. Jordan, hands down, 365, 24-7. Michael B. Jordan is my absolute all-time favorite. What can make you incredibly angry? I think the one thing that can make me incredibly angry, actually, there's two things that make me incredibly angry. The first thing is when you tell an unnecessary lie. Like you just dug deep down. You don't even know. I take that back. Some people don't even dive deep down to pull a lie out of their behind. Some people could just talk and lie. So liars are my number one. People that tell unnecessary lies. Everybody claim to be real. Everybody claim to be, you know, 100% woot woot all the time. But will tell you a bold faced lie right to your face. They annoy me. They aggravate me. I don't want to have anything to do with them. And then secondly is when you ask me a question. I'm assuming you're asking me this question because you want to hear my response. So if you ask me a question and you want to hear my response to that question, don't do the opposite of what I tell you to do if you're gonna do your own thing anyway why even waste your breath and mine to ask me that question I don't understand if you're gonna do your own thing anyway then just leave me out of it consult with yourself and just leave me out of it those are my two all-time annoying things that just gets under my skin who is the one whom I share everything with? Marcus. I talk to him every day, all day. I tell him everything. He is legit my best friend. 
How often do I cry? I don't think I cry a lot, but <laughs> no. My husband would tell you that I cry often, but I don't think that I cry often. I cry when it's necessary, which leads us to our next question. What was the last thing that made me cry? I hit a squirrel like a week, no, like two weeks ago. I hit a squirrel like two weeks ago. There was a car in front of me and the squirrel was trying to run to the other side but he heard he or she heard the car coming so they ran back to where they came from and then once they figured that the coast was clear they ran out again and here they go getting stuck under my wheel or under my tires and i ran him over and he died he probably had a family he or she probably had a family Let's take a moment of silence for Mr. Squirrel. R.P. Dog. Um, that was lame. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. That's that really hurt my heart. I and my husband was in the car with me too. And I just started crying. Cause I that really hurt. That re I felt like a murderer. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That really hurt. What is the last show I watched? Um, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dies. If I'm not watching Food Network, I'm watching HGTV or the Travel Channel. But last night, they normally have like marathons of Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives on at nighttime. So that's what I watch at nighttime. Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives with Guy Fieri. What is my favorite food? Mac and cheese and okra, fried okra. Mac and cheese and fried okra. I can legit eat that every day. Like legit eat that every single day. But it has to come from Walmart Deli. Walmart, Walmart Deli is bomb. People are sleeping on Walmart Deli. I love their mac and cheese and okra. Whenever I go to Walmart, that's one of the things that I get. I haven't done it recently, but because I'm training for something. But mac and cheese and okra from out of Walmart Deli, they get my money every time. Let's see. Has my weave ever fallen out? <laughs> yes. Yes, it has. My name is the Makeup Traveler and my weave has fallen out. <laughs> so the night I got proposed to, I was so excited. You know, I was walking around the entire restaurant showing everybody my ring, like, well, we just got engaged. <laughs> did you see me get engaged? I know you did. I was over here, you was right here. So I'm walking around the entire restaurant, telling everybody that I done got engaged, showing them my ring, everything, to only come back to my sissy telling me, come here. She was like, come here. You know your, you know your locks fell out, right? <laughs> yeah. I had four locks at the time. And on my victory lap around the restaurant, one of my faux locks just fell out on the floor. And then nobody tell me except for her after the fact, after I came back to the table. So you know me, I gotta play it off. I gotta play cool, calm, and collected. So I just slide my foot on over. You know, you know how you just want nobody to see nothing you'll put your foot on top of it and then slide it on back over to you and then try and bend down gently to go get it yeah that's what i did so that was that was the time when my weave fell out but it's okay because now i have real locks and i ain't gotta worry about it <laughs> how often do i get an attitude um that's one of the things that i'm working on 
I try not to get an attitude often because it takes too much energy. It takes too much time to just have an attitude. So I find whenever I find myself about to catch an attitude with anybody, I would just, you know, close my eyes and just count to 10 in my head and then come with a different approach. Try and figure out what the problem is from a different side instead of having an attitude about it. And hopefully that works. If it doesn't work, then I'm just going to, you know, go on about my business and just leave it at that. Just be like, okay, well, unfortunately, this isn't getting anywhere. So we're just going to leave this here and we can reconvene at another time. Do I eat soul food? To a certain extent, like I don't, I don't eat turnips. I don't eat yams. Oh my God. Oh, I don't eat cornbread. Bro, do not put cornbread in front of me. I do not want your dry cornbread. I don't even want to look at it. I don't want it. Oh my God. I don't want it. No. Like at buffets, like when I go to a buffet, I'll only get like one plate. Because they be having the same stuff that I don't want. Like, I'm good with my chicken, my mac and cheese, my okra, my collard greens. And that's it. Oh, and my cranberry sauce. I can I can mess some cranberry sauce up. I was going to use a different word. <laughs> I was going to use a different word. But I can mess some cranberry sauce up. Not the kind with the, with the berries in it. I don't want that. Mm -mm. Just regular cranberry sauce out the can, ocean spray. Mm. That they they got down when they made that. That that's my favorite. What is my favorite thing about being black? I think my favorite thing about being black is that there's different layers and different levels to us as a culture and as a people that you can never just pinpoint one thing you know as to what makes you black like you can look at me you can look at an albino person you can look at a darker complexion person but at the end of the day we all black that's that's the best thing about it we got different layers to our blackness and i love that and lastly, do I ever hear the phrase, is that your real hair? If so, when? I used to. I used to hear that often when I would wear my hair curly or if I would wear it straight. I would get that asked a lot. But now that I've started my lock process, I don't get that asked often. So, yeah, that was the last question. They that went by quick. <laughs> that was the last question um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any type of feedback, any type of comments, leave them all down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel as of yet, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You already done reached the end. You already done sat with me through however long this video is. So just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We can be a family together. Our family is growing. Our family is doing great. So it'll be awesome to have another beautiful soul in the family. So with that being said, I love you all to no end. We are on our way to 100K. I'm so excited. And Lord willing, I will see you all in my next video. Peace.